Hello everyone and welcome to another Lens Studio tutorial. This video, as requested by one of my subscribers, is going to be about cycling through different materials on our 3D meshes. So let's start by adding some materials that we will want to cycle on our mesh. Okay, maybe a refraction and the tune. Cool. Alright, so now we have some materials. Let's create a script, and we'll just call this Material Cycle. And then let's add that to our scene. We'll name that as well. Okay, so let's open up the script editor. And the first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is create our input statements so that we can reference our meshes and our materials. So we'll start by referencing the mesh. And we're gonna do the render mesh visual. And we're going to create an array of inputs so that we can uh, reference multiple things if needed. And let's call this mesh. And let's input our materials. And we're going to make that an array as well since we're going to have multiple materials. And let's call that material. All right, so now let's add our meshes and our materials. In this case, this web panda does have two meshes, one for the panda, one for the inner tube. So let's add both of them in there. And then let's add our materials. Okay, so now we have everything that we need to reference. And the first thing we're going to want to do is create a variable that will be able to keep track of the count or the place within this array so that we can cycle through it. So let's just call this variable count set it equal to negative one by default and you'll see why in a second next let's create our function that we're going to bind to whatever event we choose so let's call that event trigger and we'll leave that function empty for now so that we can create the event and let's start with the tap event then dot bind and we'll bind it to that function okay so now whenever we tap on the screen this function will fire and if we wanted to change the function, or I'm sorry, if we wanted to change the trigger to something else, we would just go in here and change it. So maybe we wanted it to be mouth opened event or something like that. But we'll just keep it on tap event. Okay, so the first thing we want to do in this function is increment this count by one so that it keeps going up and up and up. So we're going to do count plus plus, and that just means count equals the count plus one. Next, we're going to want to check and see if the count has reached the end of the array. So we're going to do a little if statement here, and we're going to do if the count is greater than or equal to the material array length, so script.material.length, then we're going to set the count back to zero. Or actually, sorry. Oh yeah, we'll set it back to zero because we're going to be doing something after that. So let's just print the count just to make sure that this is working correctly. Put that plus count. Okay, so once we tap it, count goes to zero. One, two, three, four, and then back to zero. So that's perfect. And then if, let's say we took one off of it and let's try that again. So zero, one, two, three, and then back to zero. Perfect, okay. So we know that it's looping through our array per, uh, correctly. Okay, so now we have the count set up. Now really all we need to do is go through each of these meshes and set it to the corresponding material value. So we're gonna create a for loop that will be able to access all of these meshes. So for, and then we're gonna create variable i starting at zero or the first spot in the array. And then make sure the i is less than the length of the array, so scripts.mesh.length. And then we'll increment i by 1 each time. So this will allow us to go through each one. And then what we're going to want to do is first clear out whatever materials we have inside the mesh. So we're going to go script.mesh, oops, that mesh, and then i is going to be the reference dot clear materials and then we're going to add the material that we added here so script dot mesh of i dot add material and then we're going to do script 
dot material of the count. Okay, and that should be it. Now when we tap, we're gonna go through our materials. Go to the refraction, then tune, then back to car paint. And this is gonna be perfect because now we can create an array of any length that we want and it should still work. In addition to that also, we can add as many meshes as we want because a lot of our 3D meshes have more than one mesh object, but like let's say we just wanted one, so now only the panda's material is going to change. But it still works. So that is basically it. This is a simple little script that will allow you to change your materials and cycle through as many as you want and as well as create it on whatever event you want here just by changing that. All right, well, that is it, everyone. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave a comment below. And also, if you have any requests for other tutorials that you'd like to see, go ahead and comment that as well. All right, well, happy creating, everyone.